Hello everybody and welcome, my name is Ursa Ryan and we're playing as Spain, which means we must be on the letter S for Spain and A to Z. I hope you're all doing amazingly. The channel supporters have got together and have given me a really good idea for this run, which is with a slightly modded version of Spain that I'll talk about in a second. Remember, if you want to play alongside me, I keep all of the save files in my Discord as well as all of the mods that I use, not only cosmetic but also gameplay mods that you'll need to play this game. I keep it all in Discord listed out. I have about 40 cosmetic mods going on at the same time. I don't list them out every episode. It would be too much. But let me show you a little bit about this particular game. Eight players today, standard speed, no game modes. However, you will see a delicious number 10. Not eight for deity, no, 10 for deity plus plus. We're back on deity plus plus mode. I have cranked the difficulty two stages harder than deity in order to give myself a real workout. Spain is a very good sieve and one of the sieves that works really well with my natural playstyle, so I thought, you know what, let's not make it too easy, let's give ourselves a bit of a challenge here. Now apart from Deity++ and my modded version of Spain, I don't believe I'm using any other gameplay mods today. It's an island plates map with all of these delicious game options turned on for you, abundant resources, legendary start. I love island plates, it is probably my favourite map. I love a good naval map, I love the way the mountains and the coast spawns. What is it? Everybody they keep telling me this, it's every single land tile must be either adjacent to a mountain or a coastal tile, right? So that's kind of how it spawns. It's really cool, it means that everybody gets a good bit of science, there's lots of reefs. It's not quite as mad as the atoll map we've been playing from alternate cartography, but it has a very similar vibe to it. Before we talk about the start, let me show you the version of Spain we have. This is a little bit of a sutra tact, sutra tact, I'm so sorry, that's such a difficult one to say, but I've got a bunch of their mods today. The Spain rework mod is what we're playing. I'm also having a go with the tourism overview mod because I'm thinking we're probably going to go for a faithy, culturally, military based game today. We're going to be playing nasty as Spain but also friendly, kind of a bit of a dual version of Spain. If we want to be friends with people, we'll be friends with them. If they don't obey my world order, <laughs> they get crusaded. And what's going on with this modded Spain? Well, they are slightly tweaked. It feels similar, but it is a little bit different. So our palace has four extra slots for great works. This feels a lot like the way Congo works. Cities with a holy site receive 20% extra great people points, doubled if they follow my religion. That's really good. That's 40% great people points in my city if it has a holy site and it follows my religion. Now that's a little bit tricky because if I do have a holy site, it means that I'm not getting as many great people points because one of the district slots has been taken, but we'll work on that. Five combat strength for military and religious units against civilizations following other religions. That's very similar to the original ability. I think the old one's plus four, whereas this is now plus five, so a very minor tweak. However, this is deity plus plus, so the AI has plus six combat strength, not plus four. That's a little bit of a problem, but we'll just have to deal with that. Encomienda. This is the new ability for Spain. Two gold to all trade routes for each established governor. So if I put my governors in different cities, this begins to stack up and I get a lot of gold. One production to all trade routes for each governor established outside my home continent. So, already, if I have seven cities off my home continent, each with a governor in, I will get 14 gold and seven production to all trade routes. That's huge bonuses. There's a reason we've cranked up the difficulty today. Deity++ is going to give me a real headache and we're going to need these bonuses, trust me. I get a free governor title when discovering a natural wonder and these bonuses to the trade routes are doubled for intercontinental routes. I think the maximum I can get is 28 gold and 14 production to a trade route as long as it goes between continents. It's going to be difficult to get and Deity++ Plus Plus will be giving me a real nuisance but these extra governor titles will help. The conquested doors are a little different. They basically are very similar in the sense that they're still muskets, they still get religious combat strength or combat strength when there are religious units around but they now get movement and sight when not on my home continent. That's really handy. They do not convert cities when they capture them so that's a little bit different and I have an upgraded and different version of the mission. Missions used to give you lots of food and production and faith and science if they're on different continents. This one works a little bit differently now. It gives you one faith, one food if it's adjacent to a farm and one production if adjacent to a mine so in total it can give you just one faith generally then a food then a production. Those yields are tripled on conquered cities or when not on my home continent so if I get angry and take cities or I settle on my different continent 
those can be worth three faith, three food, and three production if I fulfill all of these requirements. It also gives me extra production towards building districts if it's next to my city center, so we should remember that. A bit like the Nubian pyramid like that. And it spreads my religion when constructed. I don't know how big that spread is, if it's just a little bit of a, a, a religion bomb or if it's per turn. We'll have to figure that out. But I can only build one per city and I cannot swap it. So yes, it's very powerful, but if I compare it to say Sweden's, you know, crazy, crazy culture tile, it, it's kind of in the same sort of bracket as that. So this is a really nicely worked Spain. It involves me going to different continents, putting new cities down. I want at least seven of them, all with governors in. Madrid and my home cities will be not neglected, but definitely not as uh, concerned about. And I'm going to be spreading my religion around. I'm going to be using my ability to vanquish other religions where I need to. I may even crusade just to make it a little bit more helpful. And I'm really looking forward to playing with the tourism screen a little bit. I have a bit of a patented approach with these games where I like to create culture puppets. And if people are on different continents and my navy is going to allow me to attack them, I may just do that. I don't have early armadas. That's the only problem with this version of Spain. So we'll have to watch that a little bit, but I'm looking forward to getting started. So start, we shall. But before we get started today, a quick update on something concerning. Here is Ursa Bear. Ursa Bear was unfairly expelled from Oxford University's Civ 6 program. Ursa Bear now has 30,000 signatures, and with that, magical powers were bestowed upon him to see the invisible. And Ursa Bear noticed something. An invisible, kind, helpful man. A man called Paul. Don't let Ursa Bear be distracted by the terrible spy Paul. Help Ursa Bear focus on Sankor. Will you subscribe today? Thank you, and back to the video. Turn one and what an unusual start this is. I have mountains, I have a reef, two sources of ivory, silk, amber, even some turtles. So we've got a lot of stuff, but no fresh water unless I were to go onto this ivory tile over there. Now that is tempting. I could go one move, two moves and settle on it. In fact, just going to have a little bit of a poke around and see what we find. That is a city state. Who is that one? Kahokia. Amazing. Two gold per turn. That's really helpful. It looks like that's on a river, but it's not on the coast. I'm willing to take a small housing hit if I can get a nice early religion, if I can improve tiles around me. If there's a city-state up there, I kind of want to move towards them a little bit. And I think I want to make use of this reef. If I were to move off this tile, that would be a nice plus three campus. That would be a good bonus for me. I could settle on top of that plain hill tile. <laughs> that is really tempting. But it would mean I would move away from this turtle tile. It means I would have to wait a turn. I would be working the ivory tile to start with. I could move down here. It's just about making sure we have enough decent tiles to get everything we need. These maps do tend to be a little bit cramped. Yeah, I'm going to take my gut instinct on this one. I'm going to move off the campus tile. I want to stay on the plain hills, so I will settle on that tile. That means I can campus there. It means I'll be able to eventually pop down a harbour on that tile. There's a triple desert tile or mountain tile there, so that's either going to be a campus. I'll put a campus down, but it could also be a holy site. There are lots of other holy sites that I can pop down. Later into the game, when I unlock my unique building, which I can never remember where it gets unlocked. Ah, there's the blighter. Okay, it's on monarchy. Then later into the game, I might be able to pop myself one of these down. It wouldn't be ideal. I mean, it wouldn't be very good, but it would give me some district production. Probably not very important in my capital. I uh, will work it out. There's a lot of different competing uh, facets here. Yeah, look, that city-state is right above me. I'm kind of glad we settled where we did. There's Madrid. There is sailing boosted. Let's pick up astrology nice and quickly. I will want the first religion. This is definitely a feed the world sort of start. If we can get feed the world, the housing penalty we've got from not getting fresh water from the start, we can deal with that very quickly. Island plates can be quite large as well, so I will go for a scout start. And the tribal hut has an envoy in it, which means uh, Kahokia is fine, but we'll just keep an eye out for other city states as, uh, for as long as we can. That is science and faith. That is... We've got the same wonder again, haven't we? That's um, Mount Roryam. Uh, yes. Huzzah. That's a really good find. That's a really, really good find. Oh, we've got a governor as well. Oh, of course. We have a governor because we get a three governor every time we discover a natural wonder. Hey, that's a pretty decent start. Oh, well, I've immediately got to go for Amani. Pop you down into Cahokia. What? What do you mean the city location isn't known? I've I've met them. All right, we're going to have to go and find that. That's, that. That feels like a little bit of a bug, but we'll, we'll go and meet uh, the city 
center over here briefly there is the scout i'm going to send you along to the mount and see where that is right look now i've discovered it right so now you can go in we'll just suzer in this city state as uh, quick as we can explore the map go there astrology eight turns i might go for a monument start feels like a bit of a weird option but the culture per turn will be very very handy just to push through to my first government and foreign trade i feel like maritime industries this game will be very important getting boats out exploring on the map as quickly as we can it's always tempting to put down a couple more scouts but i resisted this particular time just because it is island plates oh genghis khan honor to meet you um yeah oh they're my neighbors they are my neighbors and taruga is there as well oh i didn't get the envoy with taruga that's a bit annoying but i'll give them the envoy i got from the tribal village just to give myself an extra science per turn this takes a couple of turns off astrology which is helpful uh will they be my friend minus nine declare friendship oh no it's gonna be it's gonna be that sort of game isn't it luckily kahukia is in the way so that will be relatively handy but still a little bit unfortunate ah oh, there are barbs below me right warrior back you come kahokia bows to me let's see what the map looks like not much land actually i don't think i've just found any tribal villages no tribal villages really unlucky on that but if a possible canal on this tile though if i wanted to connect up these two seas that might end up being more useful than i think if we just met we've met mitla and i'm the first meet on mitla which means there may not be anyone in this direction i think i found another oh no i have found another continent antarctica over there right this is really important i want to go and settle on other continents as quickly as i can for my ability so that's really handy kahokia is great but i'm just thinking now we'll move amani over i'll send you over to mitla keep exploring the map as my warrior very frantically gets brought back home to deal with these barbarians and there is astrology as well i think animal husbandry because we have a bunch of of luxuries that i can improve this ivory for instance and then i might go sailing to get the turtles i could try for stonehenge i feel like that would be fairly ambitious although i am working a couple of very highly productive tiles so maybe that's not a bad uh, thing i'm just going to force work that food tile just to get my growth going quickly the holy site is probably the longer term good <laughs> placement of something isn't it i'm gonna pop my holy site on this plus two i think just because mahabody temple may be an option later into the game although is it worth it for that because i could just go plus three for the era score that's quite a bit of gold needed though and i'm thinking my eight gold per turn might go better into a builder or a settler or something like that maybe even a shrine or i could just pop the holy site there it wouldn't be mahabody temple-y but then i could just get yeah great person uh, the reason i'm building it there is it's not the best tile because there are desert tiles around me this early game gold i would much rather have the builder for the momentum of the early game start i need to get my resources improved and out as quickly as i can discipline god king i need the pantheon i need the barbarian smashing power my warrior is back before madrid gets attacked too much which is a good thing we'll keep it going look at this though science six per turn hey the extra science from the turtles as well as having two separate scientific city states is really handy and the monument it means my science is actually very rapid early game i like these sort of starts this is good uh foreign trade i want maritime industries i do plan on chucking a couple of galleys out as quickly as i can really babylon oh what a game this is gonna be <laughs> I'll offer them friendship as well. No, nobody ever likes the friendship apart from uh, Gilgabro and Saivia tend to be the two options. But okay, we have hyper aggressive Mongolia to my start and I've got Babylon to my left. Uh, I didn't mention at the time, but we're playing on Deity++, which is two levels above Deity. But what I've got is a mode turned on where the AI doesn't start with any warriors or extra settlers, but they get massive bonuses through the game. Like they're going to get like up to 80% of all yields at the very minimum so waiters may get more powerful and i've just fortified on that wood and hill just because yeah look there we go they're gonna smash into me and damage themselves and i've almost almost healed all of the damage that i did to myself there three damage i took from that attack so that's good looks like there were horses on that tile and i've just plonked a holy site on them interesting i'll take that that is that is good i'm now getting horses oh nice and actually how much is my builder 200 gold i need 33 gold i can sell for 29 let's 
just hang on to that for a second but we may be in a really good position here where i can get that builder up nice and quick let's go sailing as well i want to explore around if i can get a golden age i will be very happy and actually settling near mount roryama i'm thinking about this as a move as well uh mittler's giving me era score has this discovered anything for me lots of land there very good I've met Mexico City first and Jerusalem first. Oh my lord. Mexico City is one of my favorite city-states in the game. This is regional effects from industrial zones, water parks, and entertainment complexes reach three tiles further. It makes factories, water parks, and entertainment, uh, you know, aquariums and zoos. Makes it all really, really good. Jerusalem spreading my holy site pressure around is going to be very handy as well. Well, Mittler is giving me city growth higher in cities with campuses. I don't have any of those for now. I'm going to just move over to Mexico City. We're just going to keep grinding this era score. If I can get monumentality, then I'm going to be very, I, I'm going to be a very happy Ursa if we can get monumentality because I've got a semi-decent holy site being plonked down already. And the barbarians are just like clockwork, just attacking me here and just, it's like a conveyor belt and now I can attack their slinger and level myself up in a second. Kaguna has been met probably by Babylon so that's not super great but again, era score is doing okay for now there we go there's the goal i'm just wondering i'm wondering whether or not i just build the builder or if i use my production on stuff like galleys in order to get myself out and exploring that's kind of what i'm tempted to do very early on yeah let's get the builder let's get this attack done i want to kill these barbs as quick as i can for the era score so the builder's good i'll put one turn into holy site prayers just for now because that will come back and give me a little bit of a boost if i need to rush my religion oh i love it in these early stages of the game where we are we are competing with about five different ideas here um there's sailing so what we're going to do now is switch over to galleys i'm going to have to take off discipline and god king but i will put on urban planning and maritime industries give myself battle cry yeah that'll basically give me the bonus that i'm looking for look kahokia i really wanted to improve that ivory it's a bit annoying but never mind we'll do that second uh, i'll go and get the turtles and i do have all of this favor i am aware of that babylon is so far away from me i'm just gonna take the gold but we'll we'll keep an eye on that one uh so as foreign trade i'm gonna go for mysticism to get the envoy because i think that's going to be relatively handy going forward and what city state quests have we got campus easy spearman easy get a profit easy scientist not so easy with babylon in the game oh babylon aren't even the first people to get the first campus up scythia i was just speaking about scythia honored to meet you love to sample your hospitality and curtain as well we are meeting honored to meet you exchanging information on capitals uh we've found mexico city australia is just above let's see if scythia is still doing the old usual trick yep they are definitely more <laughs> whatever update there was on the game they just accept friendship first turn that's brilliant oh having a friend in Savia is so handy we'll keep that as a point um there is turtle anyone want to buy my turtle from me two gold per turn no <laughs> you need to give me a lot more than that a lot more than that so there's mexico city amani travel onward this time to jerusalem let's just keep exploring the map i've earned about six era score from all of this so far and we've got more to come because i've got a galley on the way that's going to give me a boat so that's two era score we'll get another two that should be up to 18 i'll get a pantheon nice and quick as well yeah no i'm i'm fairly happy with how this is going so far or oh, babylon's getting their first settler out now and curtain is friendly and wants to be friends hey on deity plus plus let me just tell you this for free you need to make as many friends as you can as early as you can don't let anyone have the opportunity to just declare war on you because it gets messy so bad um that was two delegations sent to me that was just 50 gold were dumped into my nation that's actually really handy anyone getting uh profits at the moment no look at that 1.2 so ah this is really interesting i'm getting 20 percent extra profit points from my ability here lovely that's really handy okay we'll keep an eye on that one. Oh, my warrior is now healing nicely uh in the behind a river in a forest in my land perfect what's on this tribal village a trader unit interesting uh nobody needs a trade route right now but i could just get a nice easy three gold what do i want my route to go i don't want my trader being necessarily killed really quickly i do like the idea of a nice road being put down in case i want to go over to mount roryama so i think i'm going to go to taruga plus that will be worth uh as extra science as soon as they get their campus up which hopefully they'll do fairly soon so that's really handy and there's the galley i'm not the first person to 
to build a galley, but I am. Uh, it's the first in my nation. Oh, there's uh, annoying uh, reinforcements of, of barbarians. I might have to pull back in a second, but right now I'm holding this line. I'm healing nicely. It's looking pretty good. Let's get that camp down. There are other turtles there, but will be bought for four gold per turn. It's not really worth it. Four gold per turn as well for these. I just, I really want to sell my luxuries, but right now, just not really worth it. Not worth it at all. 34 gold for all of the horses. Mm, as I build another galley, I don't know if that is worth it. I'm, I think I'm saving up right now for something. I don't know what I'm saving up for. 320 for Sattler? Yeah, I haven't decided. <laughs> it's, it's a mass of a strange thing. I, could, I can tell you definitively that I'm saving for something. I just don't know what that something is. <laughs> Build the gold up. It's fine. Here's the Pantheon. Okay, there are options here. I have not one, but two separate camps. That is quite good. That means we could get Goddess of the Hunt and go for an extra two food and two production in my capital. Desert Folklore is an option as well. I couldn't, there is a lot of desert in this sort of small area. So I've only got um, a plus two in my capital and that would become plus three. But there are some holy sites that we could make plus fives and plus sixes from. God of the Sea, always really good on nature. Uh, maps because turtles obviously will give me an extra production and I could go for divine spark in order to get an extra profit point and then that'll translate into libraries and theater squares when I get them later I do want all of these things eventually there's not a huge amount of other camps around that's the only problem that I'm looking at, at the moment it's it's one of those pantheons that will give me a little bit now but not you know I, I want um feed the world I really want that and I want to be able to build other things at the same time so we're gonna go divine spark I think combining this this with my ability with Spain to get more great people points. I think this actually could work out to be really, really good. I know I value that Pantheon quite highly compared to a lot of people, but I do value it highly. I can't lie. I think that is that is a good Pantheon. I'm happy to be using that one. There's Jerusalem. Little bit of era score now. A bit more exploration. Yep, there's a lot of space on this continent and a lot of the north of it is a different continent. So that, that is really intriguing for me. I'm really looking for that. Which city state have I not captured so far? Tarug uh, is the next one. So again, Marnie, keep going around. I, I don't know which city states we're going to be plonking on permanently, but right now this is not a bad option for me. Which way is the galley going to go? Uh, I probably want to go left. See if I can figure out what's going on in this direction. Look at that, by the way. 2.4 profit points per turn. Lovely stuff. Urban planning, maritime industries, so I'm going to keep at that. I did just notice, though, Taruga, which is the extra science for strategic resources, which I've already got some of. I'm going to put the envoy in that city-state and capture it without Amani's help, which is pretty handy. So now Amani can go over to Kagina, maybe? Unless there's a city-state that would give me more benefit. I would like to get the campus down in Madrid pretty quickly, if I can. In preparation for that, I might pop her back into Mittler temporarily but yeah there's if we find other city states I might be tempted to switch that around there's craftsmanship as well let's get rid of this ivory for 100 gold I'm now tempted actually to throw some horses at people and to get some gold uh, in order to get my settler and my shrine let's get the settler first now that this trader is on the way I'm gonna go and settle towards Mount Roryama I'm torn I could settle on the wheat towel and that would mean my city center would be working a science and a faith and I'd be also working this uh, science and faith tile up here as well. Food limits the city a little bit but it gives it a lot of production and three science per turn would be a huge bonus for my city. Or I could settle on this hill means I'd get less science but I'd be working a food tile I'd have a little bit more latent production and then I'd work it better later. I don't know there are options here both are going to be good I'll work it out when I get over there but that will give me a good chunk of era score as well. Okay Cahokia you're getting annoying now you're getting really annoying why can't you just move Move your units away. Fine. I'll take I'll take the long way around. I just I'd, I'd rather not though. <laughs> I would rather not. What's Madrid going to do now? Nobody's getting a religion, but Stonehenge is always a risk. Let's get the shrine. If I go feed the world, it's going to give me housing, it's going to give me food, and more faith per turn is always good, because if we do go monumentality, I'm going to want all of these benefits as quick as I can. I'm also going to trade my luxuries away. I know it's a bit risky, but the gold right now, I think, is just more important. Just selling everything in order to give myself as good an economic start as I can. Oh my god, Cahokia, you are the worst. I hate you. Why do you... <laughs> Look at this! What's with that? Ugh. I bet you, I bet you this warrior is now gonna move there. Just, just watch. Like, I'm not even joking. It's gonna do it. It's gonna move straight to there. Oh no, no, this one did. Ugh. 
I need to get this settler down. It's a golden age. I have to do it. Oh, turtles. Right, here we go. Look, see, I can buy turtles from Genghis. I sold mine, but I bought his for a lot less. So, haha. -ha. There's writing unlocked. I would like celestial navigation, but I don't have another sea resource that I've upgraded. So let's just get mining quickly. Is there another sea resource anywhere near me? Not really. Okay, we cross the river. At least we've done that. <laughs> <laughs> oh lord. Oh, I've lost Taruga all of a sudden. Oh, who's done that? Oh yeah, two two people have put Armani into that city-state. Okay, well, we'll we'll keep an eye on that one, but there there may be some city-state competition here beyond what I am willing to accept. What's that one? Etmananki has gone as well. Halfway to making our religion. I would, again, I'd love if we can get our first religion. Come on, attack me. They're gonna go and pillage that immediately, aren't they? I just realized I was letting them attack me, but I've left my elephants open. Just see it happening already. Don't you dare attack me instead. Attack me instead. Go on. You know you want to. There we go. There we go. You see, that's a lot better. Oh, where am I going to settle? I'm going to I'm gonna take a gamble. I'm going to settle on the wheat because I think the extra science per turn, that's a huge benefit to me right now. It's going to really boost me through these early game techs. That's what I'm going to do. Um, then let's go irrigation briefly. Can't get through the galley there. There's a nice cap in the way. So many tribal villages that I can't get because I've got no units in this sort of area. Worth keeping an eye on though. State workforce for more governors. But there you go. Golden Age done. Barcelona. Three era score for settling near Mount Roryama. And this city already is giving me 3.5 sirens per turn, which is 50% extra compared to what I was on the turn before. Isn't it lovely? Isn't it wonderful? I realize I should have taken maritime industries off though. That was a bit of a mistake. So this is a decent tile, but I'm actually going to plonk down a holy site that's worth plus three. I know there's a better holy site over there that would be worth plus six, but I might leave that for another city. Uh, I mean, I'm not, I don't want to spend my gold where I can. Plus three is enough to give me era score in the classical age, so that's good. I'm trying to get better at planning for future future era score and that is one of the things I could do. Uh, 14 gold, open borders. It's quite expensive but I do want to keep exploring so let's keep doing that. Where do I want to settle in Antarctica? That's Grassland Hills but this is Plains Hill so I'm actually going to settle on that tile. It's away from the coast, it's in the mountains, it's got access to incense, coca and spices so this is a really good settlement opportunity for me there. Uh, there is a shrine. A few turns into getting a settler. I'm tempted to do that that, but I'm also tempted to go for a granary just to really emphasize that Madrid needs to grow. Oh, do you, do you remember I mentioned Betrayer? That is plus one science on that, so it did eventually work. I was just sort of waiting for that Tariga to make its campus, but there it is. It's all being made. It's all lovely. I need a couple more reinforcements in Madrid. I'm holding this barbarian encampment at bay, which is fine, but they're just about to send a slinger over, which is a bit annoying. So yeah, I'm going to have to just quickly get a slinger and get a little bit more defense to stop it from getting anywhere near me. Not that I've done that at all because the slinger is just about to go and pillage that tile but what can you do? I'll wait for it to come near me and attack me. Uh, I can always repair. It's always easier to repair. Better that than losing my unit. If I, if I lost the unit it would be big trouble. Yeah they just moved to me to attack then. Brilliant. Okay cool we can we can get them off fast. I think we're just about able to do this. Bam. Yeah great. Slinger's in place. I feel a little bit more secure now. A little bit more. Not a huge amount more but a little bit more. The profit I'm going to get in three turns. I would love the settler, but I'm tempted to let Madrid go to four population just so that I can put the campus down before I get the settler. So there's a little bit of an order here. So I will wait on the gold for three turns and then we'll go. And then matching monumentality will make the settler cheaper anyway. So yeah, so that actually double works for me. Let's let's stick to my guns on that one. Oh, lots of turtles and amber over here. This is a nice little settlement spot. Classical era golden age. Perfect stuff. Urban planning. Right, we need to get rid of maritime industries now. Let's get discipline back up and running. Urban planning is still very handy. Great. Uh, let's jump immediately into monumentality and now I can use my increasing faith per turn and my gold to get things like the settler as I need. And a governor. A governor. Now just by putting a governor down I'm going to get myself two extra gold per turn from my trade routes. So we want to consider doing that. Um, what's better? Pingala or should we go for, we'll skip Pingala and go for Magnus in order to get provision. 
Ideally, I want lots and lots of governors rather than one big governor in a city. So yeah, I can I can afford to get two promotions on Magnus, but it's cheaper than going for Pingala. So we'll do that. Madrid, then we'll work on getting early empire, which I should get in six turns. We'll finish our religion next turn. That'll give us some era score and some food in Madrid. Yeah, population four. Come on, you need to do it. We need to do it. I want population four. There's the profit. That was an era, sorry, an envoy for Mexico City. Brilliant. We need to really start doing some of these. Let's get the campus going. Spearman I probably could get in a second with masonry, but first religion. I spoke about it before, but there's a lot of cities that don't have a huge amount of housing, so Feed the World is going to be very important in this game. And now it's just a case of whether or not Crusade would be worth it. Now, if I have a different religion, I'm going to get a five combat bonus. Crusade, however, makes it much easier to invade. Now, if I systematically attack one city at a time and go Crusade just on the city I'm conquering and no other cities around it, I can actually get plus 15 combat strength. It is possible. I want to see if we can do that. I mean, you can't play Spain and not go for a crusade, can you? I mean, it's not quite an inquisition, but it's almost the same. But anyway, that means Madrid five turns now until we get an extra population. Good. That's good. Okay, perfect. That means we can now afford to expand a little bit more. I'll get the settler purchased in about five turns or whatever infrastructure would be needed. I'll get another slinger, maybe? No, a builder. Let's get the builder because there's always stuff to improve and, and then we'll go from there. And finally, a very special shout out goes to Glorious Petra, Matthew Wilkinson, Paul Coffey, Dayboy91, Sean Crates, Portland, Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Davalek, Skeptical Bear, Kroger Brand Trail Mix, Alex Noob, Cinnamon Beard, Petra Ryan, Matthew Hatch, Rom88, Radio Torre, Private Selection, Genoa Salami, Boy Zorro, Callum Billy, Garrett Gowan, Polar Bear Ray, El Truand, Creston, Arby Hedge, Mushkin, Mandeltort, Esri Dax, Devil Time, Shoelace, Burial, I'm Daft, Gooberman, Clint Hennes, Dr. Bobby. Thank you all for your support and for everyone for watching. See you all next time. Goodbye.